Hello everyone, Professor Lohit here. Today we will see the frictional stresses. Okay, as we know that in temperature stresses we have two. One is a warping, warping stresses and one more is a frictional stresses. So frictional stresses is due to the uniform temperature rise and fall in a cement concrete slab. There is an overall expansion and the contraction of the slab. Since the slab is contact is in contact with what the supporting layer below, the slab movements are restrained by the frictional force between the bottom of the pavement and the supporting layer. So this frictional resistance therefore tends to prevent what movement, thereby inducing the frictional stresses at the bottom fiber. For example, this is the pavement you having. And this is the bottom stresses. If something the expansion is moving in this direction, the frictional stresses try to hold it. Okay. In inducing the frictional stress in the bottom fiber to cement concrete pavement. The stresses in the slab resulting due to the phenomenon vary in with the slab length. Okay, the process of contraction of CC slab and the development of the tensile stresses has been given by this formula. So, equate this uh, what of the total force in kg developed in the cross section of the concrete payment due to the movement of half length of the slab and the frictional resistance to the restraint at the interface of the in the half slab length and that is given by the SF is nothing but W into LCF into divided by 2, 2 into 10 to 4. where SF is nothing but what stress developed due to the interface friction in the cement concrete pavement per unit area that is given by kg per centimeter square or newton per mm square where W is nothing but weight unit weight of the concrete in kg per meter cube that is 2400 kg per meter cube and F is nothing but coefficient of friction at the interface the maximum value for this is going to be 1.5 and lc is nothing but spacing between the contraction joint that is equal to the slab length in meter this lc and where uh, what is left with now b b is nothing but slab width in a meter so, seeing to that, let us see one problem on that. The spacing between the contraction joint of the CC payment is 4.2 meter. Determine the tensile stress developed in the CC payment due to the contraction if the coefficient of friction between the bottom of the payment and the supporting layer is 1.1 and the unit weight of the CC that is cement concrete is 2400. So, what are the given in the problem is L that is 4.2 meter they given a coefficient 1.1 that is coefficient of friction and W is nothing but concrete. So, if we induce in the formula it is SF is equal to WLCF 2 into 10 to 4 that will be 2400 into 4.2 into 1.1 divided by 2 into 10 to 4 that gives you 0.554 kg per centimeter square. Clear? This is what the tensile stress what is developed in the CC payment. Now next, see the critical combination of the stresses. Okay. It is necessary to consider all the conditions under which the various stresses in cement concrete payment would add up to give some most critical combinations. Okay, the first one, the typical examples first during the mid-summer day, what happened? The frictional stresses is compressed due to the expansion of the slab. However, the magnitude is very less in frictional stresses. Therefore, during the summer midday, the critical combination of stresses at the edge reason is given by what this formula critical combination at stresses of edges 
ls is nothing but load stress plus wrap stress at the edge minus frictional stresses okay how it come up during the what summer midday maximum strength of stress is developed at the bottom of the slab due to the what warping and self weight of the slab resisting the warping effect at the interior as well as the edge of the slab the load stress is also what causes strength of stresses at the bottom of the slab at interior edge of the slab the here the critical combination of stresses interior and the edge due to the what warping and the load is therefore added to during the midday so the magnitude of the load stresses at the edge location of the residue mo is much higher than the load stresses at interior so throughout the warping stresses at the edge location at is lower than the interior hence the combined winding of load and the warping stress is generally higher than the interior so we consider one the edge here and what happened in the mid so in the problem if they ask for the during summer mid day means you have to ccs that is critical combination of stresses at edge is calculated by using this formulas sc by the load stresses st by the temperature stresses and this is the frictional stresses and during the winter mid day uh, the tensile stress is developed at the bottom of the slab due to the warping and at the interior and the edge of the pavements so the load stresses also causes what tensile stress at the bottom of the slab and here at the inf- interior the edge of, and the edge of the slab the frictional stress tensile during the winter season due to the contraction of the slab the critical combination stress of the given by this combination what ls plus here edge only ls plus ws but here the frictional stresses is added but during the summer midnight what the critical combination stress occurs at the corner okay on the top on the top when the slab tends to warp upwards and it resisted by the self weight and there is no frictional stress will be available so the critical combination during the night will be at the corner and that is given by load stress at corner and temperature stress at the warping at the corner and lastly the most critical combination will be the highest of above three okay though this value may be depend upon the several factors like general conditions uh, summer mid days found to give one most critical combination of the stresses if anything is not coming at the highest in those condition you can take it as a summer mid day okay here we conclude the class thank you for your patience reading